What if you could fly from London to New York in just one hour? That is five times faster than the jets we fly today. Sounds like sci-fi, but Europe is building it right now. So let's dive in. People say flying hasn't changed in 50 years. Modern passenger planes like the Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 cruise at about Mach 0.85. That's around 650 miles per hour. Not bad, but painfully slow compared to the dream of supersonic travel. Decades ago, the Concorde proved it was possible. Flying at Mach 2, it cut transatlantic trips to just three hours. That's faster than a bullet. But high costs, fuel waste, and noise pollution grounded it for good in 2003. Now Europe wants to bring that dream back, but on steroids. The Invictus project, led by Fraser Nash under the European Space Agency, is building a hypersonic space plane. Instead of Mach 2-like Concorde, this beast would cruise at Mach 5, more than 3,800 miles per hour. That's so fast, the windows would literally melt, so the plane might not even have any. Passengers could only look outside through digital screens. Here's the wild part. At Mach 5, a trip from London to New York would take about an hour, shorter than your favorite Netflix episode, and engineers think this tech could one day double as a passenger jet and even an orbital launcher. The plan? A demonstrator in the next 12 months and a real test flight by 2031. But will it work? That's the big question. Concorde showed us speed isn't everything, safety, cost and noise all matter too. Still, the thought remains. What if your next vacation started with breakfast in Paris and ended with lunch in New York before your coffee even gets cold? 